Hello. Uh, I'm the last, <laughs> the last speaker. So I hope that you are not uh, sleeping too much. <laughs> and because it's a uh, design uh, revolution, I love it, you know, as French, I love this title. <laughs> and I think that if I knew the title before, because I didn't, knew, I didn't know, maybe I change, I change something again in the presentation. But I would like to tell you something. No, ask your questions. Do you know what is the capital of France? Of course. Yes. Paris. No. Saint-Étienne. Saint-Étienne is the new design capital of France. So this is, this is a good message for the revolution design. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I'm uh, the head of international affairs of uh, Cité du Design and the uh, School of Art and Design in Saint-Étienne. Cité du Design is Design Center. And also I'm uh, coordinating the UNESCO Creative Cities activities because I was doing the, the application uh, for the city. Was the Cité Design is the expert for the city. Uh, it's near Lyon. Saint Etienne is near Lyon in France. It's uh, three hours by TGV from uh, Paris. So we are uh, amongst the 22 cities now. And uh, I'm very happy to be in Dundee. I was there 10 years ago. So I'm very interested to come again in the new UNESCO design city and to, to discover the big changes. So Saint Etienne is a is a city of art and industry, 200 centuries centuries of history, coal mining activity, mechanical activity, steel industry, textiles, m- many things that uh, is in resonance with Dandy story, and uh, these are these are our roots and the DNA of uh, the roots of design and the DNA our DNA. We have many cultural institutions, a big, uh, a big museum of modern art with the second collections of the Pompidou Center, and uh, also uh, Firmini Le Corbusier area, which is uh, the biggest uh, in Europe, also museum of art and industry and um, mining museum. We started the new urban transformation 40 years ago because we were a black city. And, there, uh, and also during the 70s, we had a lot of, uh, uh, we have a big economical crisis as many uh, European cities. And we have to face this, uh, this stage and to uh, start to reinvent ourselves. So our new economy now is um, more based on high technology, mechanical high technology, uh, text Textile is a more medical textile, and uh, we have optical, big optical uh, industry and uh, services for sure, design, high education. We are still the second uh, hub of uh, small and medium enterprise in France with 20,000 small and medium enterprise. But uh, a lot of them are uh, doing uh, subcontracting, you know, so this is also very fragile. But we have big champion, European and worldwide champion, of <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so the design changed Saint Etienne, I said. Design changed Saint Etienne. And this was the new campaign of in the, in the city last year, just to, to say to the inhabitants. Yes, it changed. You didn't see it, but it's changed. <laughs> so what, uh, what are the pillars of this uh, big uh, the transformation? The School of uh, Art and Design, uh, since 1803, it was the School of Drawing at that period, and then the School L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts, the Fine Arts School, and became the School of uh, Art and Design, is uh, the uh, pioneer and uh, visionaire, we may say, uh, and the director of a school at a certain time decided to uh, propose to the mayor, who was also a visionaire and would like to change his city, 
image and uh, yes, transform the city. He, uh, we decided to start a Biennale, International Design Biennale Festival in 1998. I'm part of a team who founded the Biennale with this uh, former director. And we immediately invite uh, designers from the world because why we can decide to come and to jump to Saint-Étienne if it's not an international event. Nobody will go because they, w they prefer to go to Paris. Uh, this uh, this uh, director also decided to add a new, a new um, project and propose a new project to the mayor. It's to build a design center, an international design center, which name, the last name, final name was Cité du Design, and it's the driving force for the territory since 2005. Then we became the UNESCO City of Design in 2010, and these are the, the stages of uh, our trans main stages of our transformation. All this, uh, all this, uh, is, I will explain you that uh, we started uh, uh, also to think about a new design policy on the territory and the city and metropolis. Uh, has created uh, in, inside the Cité du Design a design manager position. This design manager, it's a very, uh, I think, innovative in a way because for France, I don't know in other cities, but I know very well Europe and I know that it was, it was it's not, we have not a lot of uh, uh, cities who, who have got this position. And it was to um, work with all across the services to implement design at the beginning of the projects. When thinking about the projects for the, for the city and metropolis. So we for sure did a lot of projects with companies, you know, to, yes, all the, all the process for the companies till the first, first meeting, till the strategy and uh, with, uh, we uh, created many uh, methodologies to accompany the companies. We have special program for business for them and we found uh, this lab with a uh, uh, highlight during the, during the Biennale and uh, inviting companies to, to test their product with the visitors. It's a lot of success. We, uh, we started designing retails and hotels in partnership with Montreal in 2003 and we are still running this uh, competition each two years because, uh, because of the size of the city. We did also a big transformation in public transports. We had a special projects in schools. Uh, we proposed to do a co-creation uh, to re 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 refresh or refurnish the school. You know that, uh, I think I don't know in, in UK and in Scotland, but in France, this, this primary school depends from the city. And uh, each tw 20 years or 30 years, they are repainting or refreshing or something like that. And to do this, they open a catalog, choose furniture and that's it and do some painting. So we said, Please, no, we are city of design now, we must think about something else. And please, we have to invite designer and uh, work with uh, the, the people using the, it means the children and the, and the teachers and the technical people from the, from the municipality together. And uh, with not a lot of uh, more expenses, you can have a better place to live. It was a good success, and also the city was winning uh, innovation prize for municipality. So it was also a big point for us. Uh, designing public spaces, for sure, inviting designers or artists to rethink some spaces. And uh, last Biennale, we, had, uh, uh, we launched a special project with uh, selecting uh, urban furniture uh, from designers or from companies and installing this with uh, urban furniture in the city and asking the people to test this, uh, these benches during one month 
and to vote on the website and, and uh, to, to say that which one they prefer. And after that, the municipality bought eight benches and now they are in the city. So we also asked the mayor, please uh, renovate the tourist office, which is the first entrance in the city. <laughs> and it was an awful office. People very, very, very wonderful. But, and so they did, they did it with designers, with a small budget, because we can do design, very well design, with small but with uh, not, expense, not expensive budget. We also launched the Code Souvenir. It was also to promote the designer. It was a project among the cities of uh, design. And uh, we, it was also to promote the creators or companies inside the city. And just to, to try to change the, the idea of uh, which, which souvenir I can use and offer for my city. And I can buy it not only in a catalog which Sorry, Ting, is many products are coming from China, but also product, local product. This also, uh, at, that, at the same period, we have a big uh, renovation uh, urban project, uh, renovation area, La Manufacture, where the, you see uh, the Cité du Design and all the, we merge with the school, the school moved there, and in the other part, uh, we are using this part also for, uh, for the Biennale. And uh, it's a more complex area because it's going till the train station. So you can see on the way, it's a Norman Foster uh, concert hall on this. So all the area is under renovation. It's a nine, nine, years, pro nine years project. That's Alexandre Shemetov is was the architect uh, doing this. And uh, this area uh, nearby became the new creative district. It's where we are, and uh, it's, we were the starting point of this reflection. So nowadays, new creative industries are uh, in this, and uh, a lot of digital, uh, digital uh, yeah, startup and everything are in this area now, also universities, school of engineers, you know, radio, many, many, many different, and primary school, uh, kindergarten, it's a very mixed, um, mixed uh, place. And uh, we got the designation, uh, French tech design tech, uh, <laughs> the logo are fantastic, I think. It's a very revolution design. <laughs> anyway, the cock, you know, <laughs> the French cock and the panther, is uh, because it's the, it's the symbol of our football team also. Yes, very strong. <laughs> because we have a str strong football team. We, we, um, yes, we lose something with Glasgow sometimes, I guess, <laughs> some years ago. Ne anyway, so design in exhibition is, uh, yes, we have a very big space, as you see. Uh, yes, you have seen it. La Platine with the uh, exhibition space, so it's our regular, we, we use the exhibitions to, to uh, yes, to train the public, white public, but also professional, to have many contacts using this. But also the Biennale and uh, International Design in Saint-Étienne is the main, uh, the main event each two years, and it's on the manufacture area. We, uh, we are preparing the 10 editions. Last edition in 2015, uh, yes, you see two, uh, 280,000 visitors. We extend in one month now, and uh, many professional. And we, have, uh, we are also involving the museums, galleries. Uh, yes, we have many offs and, uh, in the region. It's not, we have also resonance uh, event in the region. In 2013, we, uh, we had invi invited the 11, at that time we were 11, uh, design cities in uh, Saint-Étienne. The main theme of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Biennale was empathy. So I was co-creating the exhibition Empathy City, making our city together. And so we asked all the, the cities 
to uh, to send uh, to send us some projects realized by designers with communities and uh, with inhabitants because we also are working a lot on design for social change. La, in 2015, uh, Biennale, uh, we have decided to have one guest city. It's something which is uh, which was uh, very new. Seoul was the guest honor because it was the year of uh, friendship between Korea and France. And we invited designers from all the cities to do workshops with our local designers. Next Biennale will be uh, in uh, March 2017. The title, uh, the thematic is uh, something that John uh, would love. I think that we, we will try to invite you maybe for something because it's about shifting work paradigms and f digital is in the core of this, uh, this uh, reflections. We have decided to invite Detroit because uh, you know Detroit, even if we had a bad years in Saint Etienne, Detroit, Detroit had also very bad, uh, bad years, but Detroit is now reinventing uh, itself and it's very interesting to see how, how the, the, there are a lot of new startups, how they are, uh, they are working and uh, reconstructing. So I th our mayor is uh, still a, a bit afraid about this, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so what it means to be a, a UNESCO design city? UNESCO design city, it's, uh, we are not the best city of the world. So Dandy, Dandian, I don't know. <laughs> Register. Huh? But it's about welcoming, sharing, participating, and promoting. Yes. So we were uh, invited by grads, Saint Etienne Design Meets grads for Design Monat. We are winning a lot of awards for the Shenzhen Designer Award. I'm very proud. Huh? So young designers, this, ever, this edition is also designer and students. And still, we are best nominator. Good. We have also joint initiative. It's, uh, it means that working together, it's sometimes working bilateral. So for example, Kobe invited a designer to do a workshop with children. And uh, next July, we are invited, inviting a uh, designer from Kobe for a workshop with uh, children with a social center. We just selected, it's why I didn't put the, the photo because it's very, we, we are just on the process of selections. And also it's uh, projects. I love, uh, I love the idea of working on projects, but it's very difficult oh, for sure because uh, it means that uh, we can be a lot of partner. We had chance to, we apply to uh, European, with a European project in 2013 and uh, we started in 2014. The name uh, you can see, Human Cities Changing the, city, the city scale. We are 12 European partner and it's, uh, uh, we include, uh, in, among the partner, we include few uh, European uh, design city. So, grads with uh, uh, university, you are Neum University because it's uh, partners are different. Sometimes it's a design week, sometimes it's a design center. So sometimes it's a design association and university. It depends of uh, we choose the right partner to work and not only to, to be a partner. You know, it's uh, very important to know the partner. And so we invited uh, Alto University from Helsinki, Bilbao Biscaya Design Center from Bilbao, and Saint Etienne is for four, and the other are from Poland and uh, Ljubljana and other. But it's very interesting projects, and uh, if you come to Saint Etienne next uh, next uh, uh, March, you will see a lot of uh, experimentations we are we are uh, running in Saint Etienne with local uh, association and designers, and also you will uh, you will see uh, what is happening in the other part of Europe. So Saint Etienne changes design. <laughs> It was the title of our exhibition in Milano for the Triennale. We are just near Dundee, yes? 
in the same place, Zona Tortona. So I had the pleasure to meet Philip there. And uh, yes, Saint Etienne changes design, yes. And we, we put on the, the, that we are the capital, French capital of design, yes. We, yes, we must uh, be proud of it. The mayor was very proud, okay. So this is good, and it's the revolutions we are leading in our region, in, in, the, in France. And uh, thank you for your attention. I invite you for the next Biennale. <laughs>